And now we will begin our in cap portion of uh, the exam, okay? So when you get inside the tractor, okay, you will grab, you will go for your seatbelt, okay? You're gonna mention that it's properly mount secured. It's uh, it's not ripped. It's not frayed. It locks and unlocks, okay? And you just put it right back in there because you're gonna need it, okay? Um, that was my seatbelt, okay? Then you're gonna start talking about your uh, fire extinguisher, okay? Fire extinguisher. It's properly mount secured, properly charged, properly rated, and with the safety pin in place, okay? Then you will talk, talk about your, uh, your three reflective triangles. You have three reflective triangles. They are in this truck, being that it's a sleeper. It's inside my side compartment box um, behind me, okay? And that they are properly mount secured and they are, and that you, ha that you have all three reflective triangles. Okay, and then we'll talk about that we have extra fuses. Okay, then we'll get into all of our breakables that will be our mirrors, our windows, and our windshield. It's all properly mount secured, not chip cracked or broken. Okay, my mirrors are set to my, uh, adjusted to my sight. My windows should go up and down. Okay, windows go up and down. My windshield uh, has no illegal stickers that will obstruct my view. There is a uh, uh, a weather seal, which is not cut, torn, or dry rotted, and there are no signs of leaks. Then I have my uh, wind uh, windshield wipers. The arms are not bent, cracked, or broken. The wipers itself are not. Uh, cut torn or dry rotted and there should be enough tension to remove rain and snow my windshield washer fluid is working properly okay and then now I'm going to perform a safety start okay so in order to perform a safety start you want to make sure that your truck is on neutral my brakes are set. Set means pulled out. Released is in. So they are pulled out. My truck is in neutral. And now I will just turn the key to the on position. I'm going to let my computer reset. And then I'll start the vehicle. Okay. At this point, I'm going to grab my steering wheel. I just mentioned that I have no more than 10 degrees or two inches of play. Okay. Then I'm going to start to talk about my gauges. Okay. My gauges. I have my uh, oil pressure gauge, which is rising to normal operating range. My water gauge or my coolant temperature gauge is rising to normal operating range. My depth tank should be no less than an eighth of a tank. Okay. I have my voltmeter which is at uh, normal operating range, okay? I have my primary and my secondary air tanks. Primary, secondary, they are rising to normal operating range or governor cutoff, which is 100, uh, between 120 and 140 PSI, okay? Also on our dash, we'll check our light indicators. We'll begin with the left turn signal works on dash. Our right turn signal works on dash. Our four-way flashers work on dash. Our high beams work on dash. Then I will go to my heat and my defrost. So I will set my heat and defrost and I will turn it on and I will just reach to the top and reach to the bottom, my heat and my defrost is working properly, okay? 
Now I am going to uh, begin uh, to test my brake system. Okay, I am going to begin with uh, the tug test. So first I'm going to tug on my trailer brakes and then once that's uh, successful, I will move on to my tractor brakes. So in order to do that, I will depress my brake pedal. Okay, I'm going to leave my trailer brakes engaged and I'm going to release my tractor brakes. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the truck on drive and I'm gonna slightly pull forward to tug on the trailer brakes, okay? Okay, my trailer brakes are holding. Now I'm going to do the opposite. Go back in neutral. I'm going to release my tractor brakes and engage my, uh, I'm sorry, engage my tractor brakes and release my trailer brakes to tug on the tractor to prove that they are holding. Back on drive, slightly pull forward. All right, my tractor brakes are holding. Now what I'm gonna do is back in neutral, and now I'm gonna release all my brakes to uh, test my service brakes. So I'm gonna make sure that all my brakes are released, okay? And I'm going to pull forward, and I'm going to um, press my brakes, to prove that all my brakes are working properly. Put it back on drive. Now go forward, slightly. Okay. And my steering wheel did not move to the left or to the right. Okay, so there, my, my brakes are working properly. Back in neutral, set my brakes. Now I will exit the vehicle. So now I exit the vehicle. I'm going to chalk my wheels. Chalk my wheels. One in front, one in back. That's how I do it. Now I will get back into the truck. So now we're back inside the tractor. We will uh, put the seatbelt back, make sure that it's locked, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we build our uh, air pressure, make sure that it's and the governor cutoff, which is between 120 and 140 PSI. It's not there, so what we'll do is we'll assist the truck uh, to raise that pressure simply by pressing the fuel pedal and bringing our RPMs up to assist uh, the air tanks to be filled. So once it gets to that point, you will hear the governor cut off, which sounds like a sneeze. Once it's there, we will mention that. That was our governor cut off. So now we'll turn the tractor off We'll put it back on the on position. We're gonna wait for all the lights to turn on and the, and the uh, gauges to uh, sweep. All right, so we're there. So now we're gonna make sure that we push in our tractor and trailer brakes, release them. They're released, okay? Now we'll ask the examiner to time us for one minute uh, because we're gonna make sure that we do not lose more than four PSI in one minute, okay? So I will gently press on the brake pedal the examiner will time me, okay? And I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to press on that brake pedal, I'm gonna pump it, and before I get to 55 PSI, I should have a visual and an audio alarm, okay? So I have an audio and a visual alarm. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to pump my brake pedal and when I get between 40 and 20 PSI, both my buttons should pop out. So we'll focus on those buttons as our air tanks start to drain. 
watch our air uh, our buttons. And they just popped out. Okay? At this point, I will hit my city horn and my air horn. And that's the end of the in-cap and air brake portion of your test.